we are CC Fine Tea and today we are going to do a ripe pour tea cupping. We're really excited because we have a new pour tea which we have not sold on our website before and we're just introducing it today. So that is the one on this side here, the Mungku Cultivar Loose Ripe Pour from our premium collection. And maybe you can see the leaf size is smaller than these other two. It's harvested when the leaves are quite young from those Mungku tea plants, and it's been aged since 2008, so it's especially smooth and fruity and sweet. The other two we're going to brew today is our 2019 Loose Ripe Pour. That is also Mungku cultivar. And then on this side, we have our Jing Mai Old Tree Ripe Pour Cake. So we've prepared three grams of each type of tea. We're keeping everything consistent so we can compare them rather scientifically. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the three grams of each tea into our cupping bowls. And I'm going to add hot water. So this is about six fluid ounces of water at just below boiling temperature. So it's about 210 degrees Fahrenheit, 95 to 100 degrees Celsius. And we're going to let this brew for five minutes to extract plenty of flavor. All right, it's just hit five minutes and it's time to decant the pour. So I'm gonna pour each of them out. This part is pretty exciting. We get to see the color clearly, which can tell you a little bit about a tea. I'm noticing that the 2019 Mungku looks darker. Okay, so you want to check the fragrance right after pouring while it's very fresh. First, I'm going to smell the 2014 Jing Mai tea cake. Very velvety smooth, a little bit vanilla. Okay, next is the 2019 Mungku Loose. A little bit more fruity, I would say. A little bit brighter. And finally, the 2008 Mungku Loose Premium with the teeny tiny baby leaves. That one is similar to the other Mungku. It's a little bit richer and deeper. It has the fruitiness, but also a bit of a like incense fragrance to it. All right, time to taste. So I'm starting with the tea cake, the Jing Mai tea cake. I'm expecting this one to taste the most different from the others because it's from a different region. Very, very smooth, velvety vanilla, just like this fragrance was. Okay, next we're going to do the 2019 Mungku Loose. It's a bit stronger. I think that it brews faster since it's a loose pour instead of the cake. So there's a bit deeper richness and even a hint of a comfortable sort of astringency. Okay, finally, I'm going to taste the 2008 Premium. Oh, because this one has aged the longest, my um, guess is that it's going to be the smoothest. We'll see if that's true. And yes, it absolutely is. It is 
really, really um, velvety and rich. It fills the mouth, it's super soft. Sometimes pour can be a little bit rough on your throat if it's new. This one is very, very soothing. Um, and it's probably the most sweet out of the three. So yeah, these are all really good quality ripe pour. It just depends what's your preference. Um, so let us know in the comments or shoot us an email what's your favorite ripe pour and let us know if you have any questions that we should talk about in future videos. Thanks, have a great day. Bye!